Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading for the full moon in Leo. And let me just dive into my spiel. This is for Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. All right. So let's see what pops out for you guys, Virgo. So full moon in Leo, something's coming to a completion. But with the Leo energy, you guys are going to be wanting to focus more on an area of your life where you're wanting more recognition or to be in the spotlight or you're just wanting to shine in some area. So that's going to be more of your focus is pulling away from certain connections and focusing on yourself so you can actually start accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish, okay? Um, also with the energy in Aquarius, there's going to be a lot of clarification, a lot of communication that comes in. So we're going to see what comes out for you. Oh yeah, okay, Virgo, this is good. So you've got... A personal issue reaches resolution. You could be dealing with a cancer. You don't have to be. But there's going to be something where as I, the energy of cancer is going in your shell. Okay. It's, it's going into protection mode a little bit. And as you do that, you're going to come to a solution. Sorry, guys. Or a resolution on how to handle something on some type of issue that you guys have been dealing with it's gonna come from an internal process which Virgo your your card I'll crack up if this pops out but your card in the tarot is the hermit card which is all about going within it hasn't popped out but we'll see what happens page of wands okay there could be someone that at one time you felt a lot of passion with this person okay Sorry, guys, I know it won't focus. I don't know why. But so there's someone where <sighs> I love you guys. For some of you, you could have jumped into something pretty quickly. I'm saying, oh, look at that. The hermit is on the bottom. I love it. So there's something where I feel like you started to move very quickly into something, okay? Maybe it's toward a person, a fire sign, maybe an Aries Leo Sag. You moved very quickly. Maybe even some of you, you went traveling and you met someone new and there was all this passion between the two of you because you got the lover's card. But every time the lover's comes out, it's not necessarily, for some of you, it could be romantic, but it's always a mirroring card. Because there's always some type of lesson, right, about the connections that we come to. So there's something about that maybe for some of you, you were feeling very creative and passionate because that's exactly what this energy has been in, especially right now. Venus is moving into Aries, which is a lot of fire. And with the full moon in, Air in Leo, it's bringing up a lot of passion. So some of you guys might have taken some type of action toward a connection or maybe even this is like a work situation where you you wanted to express your creativity you thought this was like the one you were coming into union with something but i feel like it really changed your perspective like instead of things working out like amazingly you became stuck like you're you're you felt like all of a sudden you could barely keep your head above water it started to maybe burn you out or drain you and it's with some type of relationship or a work situation whatever this is for you guys oh shit virgo okay <laughs> oh my god okay so you've got the two of cups now all right so uh, this is definitely about some <laughs> some type of connection and there's gonna be a very deep lesson in this so much mirroring and it's gonna help you to see 
a part of your shadow, Virgo. So that's why there's some type of issue that's been happening in some type of environment or a connection you've been dealing with. There is going to be some type of resolution that comes in with this full moon. Either you're going to put an end to it, you're going to be done with it, because I feel like what's happened was there was all this movement here at the beginning, a lot of passion, action, moving forward, and then boom, there's like this blockage of like, you feel stuck or the other person feels stuck and you guys are trying to figure out like how to move forward or what to do with the connection, how things are going to unfold between the two of you. And it's mirroring a lot of really deep lessons about yourself, your, your chemical makeup, your vibration. That's why when the lovers and the two of cups comes out, for some of you, like I said, it could be romantic. It doesn't have to be though. These are mirroring cards. So this is a partnership, but the lovers... I mean, that's Gemini, that's the twin, that's the two-faced, seeing one part of yourself, one vibrational aspect, and then the other. So for some of you, if this is a relationship or a dynamic that has or is about to play out in some type of a sexual or a passionate way, it's going to be like, I feel like with the chariot card, you're going to be slamming the brakes on this energy. All of a sudden, it's got all this movement, and you're like moving forward in this great direction, and then boom, you guys are getting some type of lesson in perspective shift here. It's probably going to be around your boundaries, all right? Because with the four of wands, so there's going to be something about... Here's what's interesting. I feel like someone here was expecting some type of long-term commitment or they had some type of expectations here, honestly. Because look at the difference here in energies. You, you might be kind of like going through a little bit of a boundary battle with someone, communicating your boundaries. And as you do it, like you will have more celebration and success, but for right now, you might be in a little bit in the thick of challenging this thing that scares you. And it could be that someone here kind of like had these expectations of the relationship to be something, you know, the end all be all, a commitment, maybe even for some of you, if this is marriage. And I think that you're gonna like, not go that way you might be they're gonna try to come at you in some type of communicative way of maybe projecting guilt or shame on you um pulling back your energy or it ending up differently they're gonna try to come in with some type of manipulation but i think you're gonna shut them up very quickly with those two cards like you're gonna <laughs> There's something that you're going to communicate in a very wise way because the Queen of Swords, you have the potential right there with where you're at energetically. That's the mirror. So what do you want the outcome to be, Virgo? That's where you have free will in this because a personal, a personal issue reaches resolution. There's a possibility for a resolution and a celebration with that you know, where you're going to find the perfect way to resolve this issue. And it could be where at first you're really afraid to speak your truth, to say what you need to say. But once you do, it's going to be very easy. That could even be in your own mind, Virgo. But there's something about where you're needing to tame the beast in yourself. And the beast could be your own fears, your own guilt, or your own shame of feeling like you have to, that, like, that... If people give something to you, then you have to be a certain way or that, like for some reason, for some of you guys, this could be something where you've been dating someone and they, it, like, you guys had a little bit of emotional enmeshment and you started to realize that they had a lot of hopes and dreams around this working out and you don't see it going that way. So you're having to release some type of guilt that you don't have the same outcome or or like expectations as this other person so you're having to kind of work through that process within yourself okay so virgo i'm going to dive into the extended with this pull a little bit more advice if you guys want to join me over there feel free just go down below click on the vimeo link and i'll see you on the other side but virgo if this is where we leave things i'm sending you so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care